there guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Insane Irishman and today I am reviewing the Orange Box from Valve and uh, let me tell you, value for money you will not find a better deal. I have seen and uh, this is definitely a bargain bin hunt, you should be able to pick this up for less than a tenner and uh, I would highly recommend this people because not only are you getting Half-Life 2, you're getting Half-Life Episode 1, Half-Life Episode 2. Uh, now I will say about the two add-ons, they're not that, not as long as the main campaign in Half-Life 2, but the two of them, go, two of them back to back, uh, it's, it's just a good deal. Can't go wrong. And of course you have the... The brilliant, At absolutely the brilliant. Center, we that a uh, this is uh, this is where it started with life on on the orange the box. Uh, maybe so I missed the orange box. Maybe we didn't like the look of it. But uh, if you're into puzzle games, uh, Portal is the way to go. Now this Portal do recently, uh, recently got released as a standalone uh, game, and uh, it should have. It's a, it's an amazing game. Uh, I haven't played number two. I will play number two. I just uh, haven't got around to getting it yet. But uh, Portal number one is awesome and uh, highly recommend it. And then you have Team Fortress. I tried going online on that game. I'm finding it very hard to get the full game. It's not as big as it is on PC. It's a shame because you know it looks like a really good uh, battlefield kind of thing, you know, or, or card, but more cartoony, more comedy. Anyway, let's show you some of this gameplay. I saw you a bit of game Half Life 2. Uh, you know, one thing you could say about Valve is that they really look after their, their the people who buy their games. They really look after their customers. Uh, this is a this is an old old game, but uh, they're still bringing out updates for it. There was an update before I loaded this, so they they look after their customers, their clientele, and uh, fed use the valve. Uh, let's go for a new game. I see there's a lot of chapters and some of the levels are absolutely huge uh, especially the vehicle levels uh, the scenery is nice, the graphics are nice weapons are you know your usual shotguns, handguns M16 stuff like that pistols, sword pistols, you name it rocket launchers Satchel Charles, grenades, yeah, it's all in there. Uh, well, what, what is the story behind that? Well, Half-Life 2, number one, you kind of uh, breached this dimension, and now this dimension is pouring into your universe. And this is the, the well-dressed man. And uh, all the effort in the world would help He's in number one as well. He follows you around. We well, see him here and there on number let's one. Let's just say your hour has come again. Don't know what quite the story is with this guy. He has some sort of power over you. Uh, what are his? The right man know. in the no. wrong place can make all the difference. I don't want to spoil it for you. So, wake up. If you haven't played Half-Life. Yeah. As you see, it was bought out in 2007. Uh, still looks pretty good. You know, facial animation isn't too bad. And it is a kind of a sad story when you first start off. Uh, the government is kind of kind of took over every place, and nearly every city is kind of like a concentration camp kind of thing. And 
been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of the city of 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through the way parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safe. Were you the only ones on that train? Overwatch stopped our train in the woods and took my husband for questioning. They said he'd be on the next train. I'm not sure when that was. Did their there be nice though, letting me wait for him? I think your husband's dead, Mrs. Welcome. Welcome, Welcome to City 17. You have chosen? Uh, starts off fairly slow, but uh, soon you'll be picking up weapons and stuff like that. Don't panic, people. Action is good. Dr. Breen again. I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. I didn't see that too loud. This is his base of operations. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, the building is always full. No one ever gets on, but they're always. I mean, it's, there's loads of detail in this game. In this game. All the characters, even though they're not important to the story, have a little background story. Some of them are very sad. Don't drink the water. They put something in it to make you forget. I don't even remember how I got here. Okay, I won't drink the water. Sounds like a plan. I mean, loads of detail, insane detail characterized in this game. I'm working up the nerve to go on. Welcome. Welcome to City 17. Yeah, it's just the kind of detail you, you don't see in a first person shooter that often. I see they took your suitcase too. They can't get away with this much longer. And it really adds to the gameplay. You really feel like you're in a living kind of world. It adds layers to the story. Makes everything. That more realistic. Uh, it is an old game, but it's still still a good looking game. Okay. Yeah, all the cities are kind of like this. He was the, he was the security guard number one. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long. Uh, you don't really have to play it number one. It's a standalone game number two. Everything is explained. What happened in number one. Uh, the only way you want to get to play number one is if you have the original Xbox. Or the original PlayStation 2. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. Or if you have a PC, you can probably download it. But I don't think the original, uh, the original uh, Half-Life game is is on Xbox Live yet. I can see it happening. This should bring it out. As long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. But there's a lot of detail in these games, and it takes a while to make a Half-Life game. I mean, Half-Life 3 isn't even out yet. And this okay, was made Gordon. in 2007, make your own way to Dr. but at it's lab. Valve, when it finally oh, does get man, released, it'll be hey, awesome. You they, always, they always uh, deliver. And uh, what marks would I give this out of 10? There's no time to waste here, Gordon. Get a move on. 
I'd give this uh, a good 9 out of 10. It's a really damn good game. Keep going till you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. And uh, you know what, there's puzzles in it. Basic puzzles. Start off easy enough, and then the, they get harder. You can mess around with the scenery, there are physics uh, in the game. There's gravity and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, a good 9 out of 10, it's well worth it. You'll definitely find it in the bargain bin. And not only are you getting Half-Life 2, you're getting Episode 1, Episode 2, Team Fortress and Portal. Uh, you can't go wrong, it's it's bargain, it's a bargain people, go get it. And uh, I will catch you next time guys and girls. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel or add me as a friend or add your comments, good or bad, I can take it, I'm a big boy. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Uh, adios, peoples.